when a character like Hero has bounced such a strong tool against Pac-Man. Yes, an extremely strong tool against Zoners, and we're going to go to the neutral stage on game one for it. Ooh, quick run-in by Vivi gets that percent. Bounce, huge to have right in the beginning of that game of the game. Mm -hmm. um, really limits Pac-Man's option. Pac-Man loves to have that Hydra now. Um, really a, a non-factor when the Hero has bounce. Mm -hmm. And actually very scary as well, even if Bounce is not up, because that side B, the first thing it hits, it sends down the Lightning Bolt to it. So if Hydrant is between Hero and Pac-Man, and Pac-Man's close enough, he will still get hit. And this is a huge stuff of the game by Vivi. Um, already has um, Sinji at 88%. Um, and Vi and uh, Sinji has certainly been aware of the situations where he can run in on, on um, Vivi with uh, that menu up. But Vivi has done such an excellent job with Ooh, almost catching that with the Kaboom. Uh, has such an excellent job recognizing when he has to parry Pac-Man and is getting out of uh, disadvantage there or any situation that would be tricky. Pac-Man can trap him in the corner so well. Psych up is active. Um, f tilt is going to absolutely be enough. An excellent reaction to that neutral getup by Vivi. And this is a difficult place to be because Pac-Man in disadvantage means that you have to make a choice between mounting your offense or trying to charge as Vivi gets his resources with and Hero. that Hydra is like hyper-powered, been reflected already. Uh, excellent recovery by Vivi there, going a little high. Pac-Man now has to go low. We'll see the ledge trap. Flat coming out from Vivi. Not going to work out what running incredibly low on MP, but with that quick jab, gets 21. Uh, enough to ever get back to stage if necessary. Oh, missing oh, no. the double flubs from both players there. However, Vivi so far nearly a lap in, uh, a lap in percent on Pac-Man. Um, a really great start for Vivi. Um, showing strong uh, matchup knowledge here. Um, utilizing, you know, the space that he has on a stage like, um, like uh, Pokemon Stadium to open that menu, get as many of the buffs as possible. Get Bounce, get a Salarado, mm -hmm. get... Um, Psych up and the Salarado and um, yeah, I can, I can never remember the name me. of the other one either. Yeah, the, the um, name of the other one escapes me. But, but all the boosts. Yep, and the thing about that is that unlike Ooh, it, on a huge roll read in, mm -hmm. might I add from Vivi, excellent job. Unlike in a lot of other matchups, this is one where I think Pac-Man can't run to the other side and get his win condition and outpace Vivi because the buffs, Accelerado, the damage buffs, I think do more for this matchup and allow Vivi mount an offense that honestly Pac-Man might not have the tools to deal with unless he's really Ooh. charged up. And oh. ends up not pulling Zoom from the, the menu there. Um, however, Vivi in an excellent position here with a full stock lead. Um, and, and one thing that uh, Vivi, uh, Vivi has done an excellent job so far of is chasing on that platform. Hero kind of gives him the ability to have those huge hitboxes to do so. And Vivi has shown so far um, with the utilization of things like Nair, things like Up Air, um, things like uh, Forward Air on the platform, covering so much space has been so good so far. Yep. And I am liking what we see from Ooh. Sinji into Oh, we got Hydra Cabos. Nice. Bouncing off the Hydra. Love it. All right. Yeah, I am liking what we're seeing in terms of when Sinji tries to apply pressure when he's not directly in. He's trying to stay at that mid range and bait out that an option from Vivi with Hero's uh, somewhat slower frame data. Yeah, that is one thing certainly that Pac-Man does have over Hero, is Pac-Man's frame data incredibly quick. However, um, these buffs coming out incredibly scary, and it is in fact going to do the full scoop there on up smash. Gonna be enough. And what was formerly a huge lead from Vivi, um, looking kind of meager now, only 48%. Mm -hmm. And oh, speaking no. of meager, ooh, missing the confirm there. That could have been a quick 50 or 60. Yeah, I wonder if Accelerado actually uh, changed that confirm up, changed heroes like gravity or something. Could have been f possible for sure. Um, and still a situation where now Vivi is kind of almost playing on the back foot. We've seen now that Sinji has kind of gone full into a defensive mode, staying in that corner, no longer feeling the pressure to rush. However, Vivi with that side B puts himself into an excellent position. Corner trapping, looking for Nair. Gets back into the corner menus, gets the buffs. Yep. Huge damage coming out from Sinji though. Yep, a little bit of a blood buff on that one. Gonna take a clean 40%. Although I still think that could be a net gain if we could see some good offense here from Vivi. Oomph and Psych up on deck, almost oh killing with God. a single up tilt around 70%. No. And this is why Hero is so, so scary. Oh. All those buffs killing ex extraordinarily low percents. Oh! oh. Miss Tech! That's going to do it. Vivi with a huge lead. A little bit upset about that one. Um, and Sinji's going to be taking that game number one. After a really solid comeback overall, just played really solid. Started to get in Vivi's face. We saw the, the uh, Pac-Man's frame data coming out and being incredibly helpful. Use that fair. A single miss tech cost Vivi there. That fair is tough to tech, but that's one at 99%. You got to hit that one. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Very strong uh, 
Um, not only good for spacing, but a decent out of shield option sends mm -hmm. very low. The knockback's pretty low on that one. So it's pretty much always on the table and in the cards to get a tech chase scenario out of that. So Sinji with good presence of mind to look for it. Super huge game one by, by Sinji. Being able to take um, that game number one when the situation was so dire. And now we're seeing once again. Um, so there are two kind of ways that Pac-Man has, has so far, Sinji has so far dealt with Vivi with Bounce. Uh, one of them has been simply to camp. And we kind of saw that uh, Vivi was taking advantage of that by just getting more buffs outside of Bounce. Mm -hmm. However, um, once Sinji kind of started getting in Vivi's face and pressuring the menu pulls, uh, it really started to be a tough situation for Vivi. Uh, got pushed into the corner a lot of times. No bounce here with the, um, oh my gosh, weird angle taken there on the platform yeah, yeah, by Galaxian. That was super odd. All right. Huge fizzle for Vivi there. Gets uh, Sinji off the Hydrogen Psych up active. Oh, that catches cherry. the cherry. Okay, huge fair, however, Sinji once again putting Vivi in the corner. Bell in hand, but an excellent awareness there, and I want to point out, <laughs> Sinji knows Bell's in hand. There aren't big hitboxes that uh, Vivi can throw out without a, without a Z-drop. So Sinji, with that awareness, saying, all right, either do a Z-drop fair or you're getting F-smash. And he gets the F-smash. Yep, very scary place to be when Hero cannot threaten you with his zoning abilities with very strong aerials, then he lacks a lot in keeping you out. All right, right now, Sinji in the corner. Ooh, gets clipped by the end of the galaxy. Okay, we're seeing th this once again now. Slower paced game. Sinji can play his game when Bounce is not active. Sinji knows that all too well. Um, keeps uh, uh, Vivi in the corner. Using that up tilt to pressure the platform a little bit. Ooh, <laughs> looking for a little bit of a thwack there from Vivi. <laughs> <laughs> Little silly offstage thwack, we love it. All right. uh, but low on MP is Vivi. That thwack could have potentially been costly. Uh, thwack, I believe, is like 25 or 40 MP. It's a lot of MP. Mm -hmm. um, Bell is in play. Everyone oh. contends! Uh. And <laughs> Bell does just what it is known so so well for, and that is end lives. Yo, uh, what was that quick ass Pac Man run? The, that must have been with zoom. the water. Yes, with yeah. water, Pac Man can zoom. Yeah. Uh, nice weight up by Sinji on the Kaboom. Uh, however, Accelerama actually is super good ledge pressure. Um, nice little heal from Vivi. Get that percent back. Mm -hmm. All right. What's the move? Psych up. All Double right. buff. Yep, that'll. <laughs> and that fair, excellently spaced, getting over Sinji's fair uh, and full hopping to take that stock. Even though Sinji was a little behind, that fair hitbox was uh, under and behind uh, Hero just a little bit. Yeah, it's got a really good reach even in towards yeah. Hero. Very difficult to get out of the way if you're within the range of it. Yeah, all right, huge damage coming out here for Sinji and uh, excellent corner pressure so far. Uh, I would have maybe like to have seen that crowd there. I would have thought Sinji would have done that there. However, continues the corner pressure. I like the low option with the cherry there. Covers Ooh. a very nice angle. I think it was trying to run off fair there in that situation or down angle left tilt. Um, okay, bounce coming out. This is uh, Vivi's opportunity. Um, this hydrant is supercharged. All right, <laughs> looking for a grab maybe. Roll in. Playing Vivi, it out. Still trying to pressure that corner. So tough and bounces off the table now. Yep. Uh, gonna be a while until that comes back, most likely. Um, and we're seeing really good play from Sinji here, not only waiting out these buffs and trying to avoid the danger zone, but also getting his own resources up a little bit out of time, charging up that bonus first. And here comes that bounce. That kind of throws Bell off the table. And I like what Sinji did there. Uh, as soon as bounce came out, immediately went from Bell in hand into charging it, storing the Bell once again, uh, knowing that it would not be of use against bounce. Bounce off the table once more. Accelerator out. Oof, out. Yep. We'll see if Vivi can make this huge comeback 90% to 28. Uh, misses a punish there. Uh, this is huge. Yep. Big fair. Keeping Sinji in the corner. <sighs> that shield looking tiny. Yeah, it's very scary. Once Hero gets lit up like a Christmas tree, it's all stress. Yeah, and look, we got all the buffs going. Huge sizzle coming out from uh, Vivi. All right. Huge parry. Just gets the jab punish, though. Mm -hmm. I do like the bait from Sinji on that one, charging out the bonus fruit. A little danger close to try to get him with the fair. Okay, that hydrogen's gonna be knocked out. Big Bell. Yo, yeah, this is what he does! Oh, oh my god! This is it. what he does! That's it! And it's gonna be Sinji with a little <laughs> weight by Shield. A little turn around, <laughs> I'm gonna do a little shimmy. And then you're gonna go jump and you're gonna get caught. Excellent job by Sinji, recognizing immediately as this soon is what he does. Look, we, we saw He this. doesn't need to do anything. He's turning. He knows. He's turning. He's mm -hmm. turning. 
He says, oh, let's go ahead, 10 frames. Sees the jump. So Sinji says, okay, the mm -hmm. jump has come out. Mm -hmm. Immediately rolls back. Goes straight back to center stage. We see the jump on top stage. In fact, I think it was a double jump, in fact. I don't think Hero gets that high out of without a double jump. Mm -hmm. And Shinji's like, okay. Now land. <laughs> uh, and immediately knows that because that Hero doesn't have uh, that air mobility, that ability to kind of get around um, Pac-Man's excellent landing coverage, gets that up smash from Bell and takes stock. Yep. That's going to be it, Sinji 2-0 over Vivi. And not only is it difficult for Vivi to land in that situation, holding shield before, the only like decent option he had to counter that was grab. And you are yeah. tempting fate by going, yes, I will activate my grab, and for 10-ish frames or so, if there's a bell out there, I die. Yeah.